Dan Swartz is here and we're going to be cooking a delicious chicken dish today. A little technique behind this recipe. Yeah, we're going to bone a chicken. Fantastic. A really fast way. Yep. Um, we're going to make pamplona. Pamplona is a dish from Uruguay, mm -hmm. but we do it on a grill. So like I will start with the chicken. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, if you can start grating that beautiful smoked mozzarella. Okay, great. I love smoked mozzarella any time of the week, really. Nice. But um, this gives this dish quite a nice flavour, doesn't it? It's different. So I'm going to take the wings off because mm -hmm. we don't need them, but I left the carcass on and yes. the legs are still on. Okay. Could you use uh, just a, a regular mozzarella for of this? Of course, of course yeah. you can. You can yeah. use any cheese you want. I'm using that one because I just love it. Yeah, fantastic. And it gives you that smokiness because this is going to go into the grill. Mm, so right. you want you want that flavour just to shine as well. So what we're going is we're going through the bone mm -hmm. and we're exposing the breast. Right. With the tip of your knife, you're just sort of teasing it away correct, from the correct, breastbone correct. there. Yep. And all you want to do here when you get to there is just unlock the bone mm -hmm. and then you're going to go through there and then slowly go underneath. So we try not to break the skin. Okay. And as you see now, it's, you end up with the carcass mm -hmm. on both legs. Yes. So I'm going to go underneath. Mm -hmm. Just be very careful not to break the skin. Yes. And then if you break it, it's not really a problem because we're going to roll it after, but you need to try not to. Okay. Okay? So once you get there, then you end up with your carcass. Mm. Chicken stock. Chicken stock straight away. Very important. That's We've it. got it in a bowl. Don't throw it away. It's such a waste because it makes the best broth. Correct. Mm -hmm. So you can see now we open the chicken and now we're going to take the last two bones. Okay. So this bit's a little bit more complicated. Ah, it's the fastest one. You just go one, <laughs> Not one. complicated for dinner. That's it, that's it. <laughs> and then you go underneath the bone, mm -hmm. yeah, cut there, sure, yeah, and then this bone, either you can scrape it or you can cut it like that. Okay, so the thigh bone so and the drumstick bone, that's actually not together. too difficult to do. No. Mm -hmm. That's it. And then you end up Fantastic. with a thigh Fantastic. and a breast. All right, while well, finished with the chicken, okay. what I need you to do is just pick some of that basil leaves yes. and slice some of that spring onion. Sure can. In South America, there's a big Italian influence. A lot of people associate it with Spanish, but forget about the Italian side. It's a 50-50. Really? We call it 50-50. Wow. So we got the wars of the Italians and the wars of the Spanish. <laughs> and then we became Argentinians. There you so... go. OK, some spring onions. So we've just got two spring onions here. And uh, finely sliced? Finely sliced. OK. All right, chicken is done. So if you can please pass me the glad wrap. Can do. And the last thing we need to do is chop that garlic. So are we gonna set up to make the chicken roll? Okay, so lots of cling wrap for this. Correct. Yeah, because this is going to form essentially the shape of the stuffed chicken. Exactly. exactly. Um, and it needs to stay nice and fastened. So yeah, with a glad wrap. And then we got some round pancetta. Mm. The round pancetta will make the chicken get tighter. All right, so it will hold it together in place. Okay. This one, as you can see, is really thin. Mm. And later on, when we cook it, it's going to crispen up. Mm, delicious. We're just making the base to put the chicken on. And then we're going to add all these beautiful ingredients that you have over there. There we go. And now what we're going to do, we are going to place the chicken on top. All right. So, remember, Thigh, breast, thigh, breast. Mm -hmm. And then salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. Very important to season now, because yes. after, impossible. <laughs> it will just not taste the same. Correct. And here, we're going to start in our ingredients. So it doesn't have to be in any particular order. So we're both together, mm -hmm. just start adding stuff into there. Yep. And we've got some sun-dried tomatoes. Yeah that have been finely sliced. Correct. We got some black olives, finely sliced. And to be honest, you can put whatever you want inside yeah, there. Yeah. As just... long as it has cheese, it's fine. <laughs> OK. And olives. Yeah. Sprinkle that over. And I'm going to grab spring onion and basil. Do we have to be careful not to overfill it? We are going to cook it after, so everything's going to come together. Squish together. Yeah. And then don't be shy with the spring onions. And then finally, you're going to grab the garlic. Lots of garlic. Yeah. We're gonna put a little bit of dash of extra virgin olive oil. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay. 
It's almost good as it is. It looks it? just, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, I see that, I go, wow, summer. <laughs> now we're gonna roll it. Yes. Okay, so how do we roll it? Grab from the end, mm -hmm. you go into the middle, mm -hmm. slowly press it, and then with the help of the glass wrap, we push forward. Okay? And from there, the less we touch it, the better. Now we're gonna need more glass wrap. So sure. I've got plenty of that. Correct. What we're gonna do is we're gonna layer now the glad wrap. And we're gonna fold the ends mm -hmm. and then we're gonna roll it. That means nothing comes out. Mm -hmm. So the tighter, the better. The tighter, You're the shaping better. it as you wrap it tightly correct. in that glad wrap. Correct, correct. Fantastic. So now what we're gonna do, we have some water mm -hmm. that we heat up to 70 degrees. Mm -hmm. And 70 degrees is important for the chicken because it's going to keep it moist. Sure. All right? Yep. So we're going to drop it into the water. So you can see it's not boiling. It's just under simmering. You don't want it to be rapidly boiling because we're going to get dry chicken. Correct. All right, we're going to cover it up. Mm -hmm. We're going to cook it half an hour on each side and we're going to let it rest in the water. It's very important that we need to let it cool down in the water. Sounds good. All right, chicken out of the water. We took the clean film off. So now it comes the second part of the cooking, which we're gonna put it onto tinfoil and baking paper. Sure. I want you to drizzle it with olive oil. Okay. We already seasoned it, so we don't have to season it anymore. Is that enough? Yeah, that's it. And we're gonna wrap it. And first, we wrap it with paper. So are really trying to keep the integrity of that shape. Correct. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna wrap it with tinfoil. We have our grill pan on getting really hot and all we need to do is just pop it in there mm -hmm. for around half an hour, keep turning it until you can hear the sizzle going, chicken is done. Nice. All right, it's almost done. Mm -hmm. We're gonna take the chicken out of the paper. Yep. Thank you very much. Mm. That's good. That is beautiful. Mm -hmm. We need just fresh watercress, dress it with just olive oil and salt. That's all it needs. Okay, so oil. I love watercress at the best of times. The chicken it. will make it cook. So. Oh, oh, wow. Fantastic. You can see how moist it is. Mm. Just leave it in the water to cool down. I'll put the watercress down. You want to use your standard lettuce leaf for this. It's nice to have something that sort of does wilt slightly and works nice. Spinach, Correct. rocket, or watercress like this works Correct. a treat. Yep. Wow. Oh, beautiful. And then at the end, a little drizzle of olive oil. Mm -hmm. A little bit of salt. And there olive you go. Oil. Uruguayan Pamplona. Pamplona. I just love the name. That's it. I really want to try it too. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> okay, plate. All right. Bit of the watercress. Oh, look at that. Love how you can see that oozy smoked mozzarella in there. Yum, oh. Well, you start with that and then we go for seconds. Okay. How are they? I'm not going to complain. I'm going to go for the dark meat. I love the dark meat. A bit of cheese. All right, you tell me. Mm. The flavours of the stuffing, the chicken. The chicken is incredibly moist. It's really worth cooking it nice and slowly in the water bath and then grilling it. That right there, true taste of Uruguay. Love it. Beautiful. Mm. Glad you enjoyed it. <laughs>